we showed how we could simplify something we'd already done using Flask templates. But it, it was really simple. It just looked at uh, extension templates and base templates, as well as inserting one value into the page. In this example, we'll get a little bit more into some of the things that we can do with Flask templates. So we're going to go into uh, GAE Web Dev Step 6. And here we're going to have a README. We can take a look at that. And uh, it's just going to show how we can use dictionaries and lists in our, fla lists in our Flask templates. Uh, and if we go into our project, we have uh, a templates folder, we have an app YAML, and a main.py. So let's go ahead and take a look at our main.py. So here you can see we have a couple of more uh, lists, a couple more dictionaries that we're using for this page. And you can see we're doing the same kind of thing where we're routing a couple of different pages to our, uh, to our main. So if we look at index.html, you can see here, well, this is pretty basic. And then we have another base HTML. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Edit templates, uh, base. And here, here's what we're going to see for this particular page. So we're going to have a, a page title, so we're inserting that as well. And we're doing the same kind, of, uh, same kind of evaluation here to see if we have a page title, and then we're going to include that. And uh, we're also going to have an error message in this one. If some kind of error message occurs, we're going to display that to the user. So that's going to happen right at the top of the page. Now, we have our navigation. We have a couple of different pages here. And then uh, we have a header and we have content. So now we're going to be a little bit more complex. If you look at our uh, index.html, we have two sections. We have a header section and we have a content section. So uh, having a, a header block will allow us to uh, replace that header from our base template. Having a content block will allow us to replace the content block from that, that base template. So let's go back to our main uh, main Python. So that that first page is going to show us just the sort of intro, and then we have uh, we have another template that's going to show us an error message. So we can see page one is just going to show us this error message. Uh, page two is actually going to show us a list, and we'll, we'll take a look at that one in just a moment. But yeah, that's going to show us uh, how we can actually iterate over that list in our, our template. And then page three, uh, the third page, page three, is going to show us how we can sh uh, use a dictionary. So let's go back to our terminal, and we will we'll go ahead and start this up so uh, dev app server app.yaml and once that's done starting we will go ahead and take a look at it and here we have page one page two page three so home this is the first page and you can see this is the header text and this is the main er the content text now if we look at page one we see there was some error. So th this is how we actually got to the error. You know, if we go back to our main uh, co main Python, uh, all we're really doing is we're supplying that error message. So this will allow you using templates to show an error message on your page if you need to. Um, you know, if you need to actually communicate something to the user, you know, on your server you could log that error message, but you know, no one will ever see it who can do anything or who can kind of react to something that happened. So putting that out to the user can actually be very useful. So you can kind of see how we could use a template to selectively display an error area and you know once we get into formatting we could actually make that maybe it's red or bold or something to kind of make it stand out a little bit more um, and you can see we're still replacing the header in the content area uh, page two is going to iterate over that list so if we take a look at the uh, template for page two so uh, let's go ahead um, here we have in step six we can go into templates and we can take a look at page two uh, remember in our main Python we have this list and we're passing that as a parameter. So fruits is equal to fruit list. So we're going to pass this list as a parameter. And you can see very simple to iterate over that. We're going to build an HTML list out of that, that uh, diction or that, uh, that Python list. Um, basically we're going to iterate for each item in the, the list. We're going to output that item. So nothing terribly complicated here. And if we go back to uh, to the way this is viewed, if we if we view the page source, you'll see there are some extra lines here. But other than that, there's no indication that this actually occurred in a in a template. It just looks like normal HTML. Now on page three. Uh, we actually take this dictionary and we're going to pass this in. And if we take a look at the, uh, the page three Python or page three template here, uh, you can see we have our header area. But in our content, we're going to start putting these in a table. So we have a table row and then uh, data for each one of these. So um, we can access the key by using this uh, for loop to iterate. And then we can actually access the values here just by using, you know, referencing it like we would normally in Python.
And if we take a look at that on page three, here you can see our table. We've got a, each one of these items is going to be in, a, in its own separate cell. Uh, and we, you know, we have the, the key here and then the value just by retrieving that and using that normally in the dictionary. So very simple to use uh, your if statements, your, your iteration in, in these class templates. Now, the thing that I would say that is pretty important to know is that um, it's best to not put a lot of logic into these templates. The reason why these are generally pretty simple is because we want to keep all of the logic necessary to process the data uh, and, and, and format the data for the most part. Uh, we want to put all of that in our code and we want to just use these templates to present that. And we'll get into why that is later. Uh, but generally speaking, it, it's more effective to have uh, your, your template layer just be for presentation so that you can do all of the processing in Python, where it's going to be a little bit more straightforward to do that kind of thing. So this will give you a rough idea of how to use the templates. And you can use them in your own application very easily. Uh, all you have to do to, to use these templates is in, you start with uh, this Flask render template. You give it the name of your template file and it will look automatically look right in that templates folder to find that and then any parameters that you want to use. So any parameters are just going to be listed one by one, uh, you know, named uh, just, you know, like we would use in a Python function where we have uh, named parameters. We, we use the exact same thing. It, it works the same way. So this will allow you to more dynamically create pages and uh, hopefully simplify the way that you're creating your HTML output. Uh, hopefully you can use this in your own applications. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, the next uh, few lectures will get even farther into App Engine.